It's the moment of solution. There is an answer. Jesus is Lord. Jesus New Year is Lord. Prayers. New Year prayers. New Year prayers. Okay. Eater. Bread to the eater is humility. humility. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is bread Lord. to the eater. Bread to the eater. New Year prayers. New Year prayers. Okay. Welcome to the moment of solution that comes to you every week on Tuesdays. It's my prayers this evening that your victory will eventually come and will be enduring in Jesus name. Today the topic of our discussion is victory at last and I'm taking our Bible passage from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 25 verse 28. 1 Samuel chapter 25 verse 28. I pray thee, forgive the trespass of thine handmaid, for the Lord will certainly make my Lord a sure house, because my Lord fighteth the battles of the Lord, and evil had not been found in thee all thy days. This statement was made by Abigail, the wife of Nebuchadnezzar, when she encountered David on his way to fight with the whole household of neighbor because of a perceived injustice. David said they kept the flock of Nabal in the, in, the, in the wilderness. They watched over his flock for as long as the, 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 the headsmen of Laban, of Nabal rather, stayed with David's men, they were secure, they were safe. Now on the day of his celebration, David sent his men to Nabal and said, give us some things. We want to celebrate with you. And Nabal's response to them was an insulting one. But Abigail was able to prevent David from going to take vengeance for himself. She gave him two conditions that would work for any one of us if had hurt you. Number one, she told David, you fight the battles of the Lord. And this is a very important point. You know, the Bible says, examine yourself and see that you are in the way. If every time you can examine yourself and declare of yourself that I fight the battles of the Lord, oh, then you can be sure that God will fight for you. I pray for someone who is listening to me this moment, God will fight for you in the name of Jesus. Number two, she said, evil is not found in you. So the condition is not just that you fight the battles of the Lord. You must be one that God can say, evil is not found in him. That's why the Bible says, blessed is that man to whom God will not impute iniquity. God ultimately fought for David. And the Bible says, Nabal died about 10 days after this encounter. In 1 Samuel chapter 25, from verse 37 to verse 38, the Bible makes us to understand that Abigail did not tell him anything that night that he was drunk. She waited till the following morning. And she recounted to him the incidents of the previous night. And the Bible makes us to understand that when neighbor had these things, his heart died within him and it became as a stone. And ten days after, the Lord smote him and he died. When David heard of this, he worshipped the Lord. And the next thing in the sequence of events, in that first chapter 25, verse from I mean in verse 39, was that David sent and asked Abigail to be his wife. And so we see what I call victory on both ends here. David did not avenge himself. God avenged him. I pray for someone who is listening to me at this moment. God will fight for you. God will avenge you against your enemies. And going further, Abigail had a victory against her husband whose name, neighbor, means a fool. She was elevated from being the wife of a fool to being the wife of a king, the king of Israel. The next time David was going to fight the wrong battle, when he joined forces with the Philistines, we were told that he was sent back home only to find that Ziklag, which was then his abode, had been burnt down by some 
uh, Amalekite invaders and his wives had been taken captive. First Samuel chapter 30 verse 5. The Bible says, And David's two wives were taken captives. And he knew the Jezreelites and Abigail. They were for Nabal the Camelite. David, however, encouraged himself in the Lord and subsequently went to the Lord for guidance. That's in 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 6. We we'll see where David was, I mean, even the supporters of David were discouraged. And the Bible says they made as if to stone him, but they encouraged himself in the Lord. And divine encouragement came for him from the Lord. I pray for someone who is listening to me at this moment, God will encourage you. Beyond any human encouragement, whatever it is you are going through right now is the beginning of the year. I pray for you. God will encourage you in Jesus' name. The Bible says in verse 8 of that passage, for Samuel chapter 30, he went before the Lord and he inquired, Shall I pursue? Shall I overtake them? Very precise questions that he asked the Lord. And the Lord gave him an answer beyond even what he asked. He said, Pursue. For you will overtake them and without fail recover all i pray for someone who is listening to me at this moment you will pursue you will overtake you will recover all in jesus name as you pursue in the place of prayer you will overtake in the name of jesus you will recover all in the name of jesus your victory will last and be permanent in jesus name we know fully well what happened david pursued he found a helper in the Egyptian servant of the Amalekites. He fed that helper and that guy led him to the troop of the, of the invaders who were indulging in what I call premature celebration. Every premature celebration of your enemies concerning your situation, God will terminate today in Jesus' name. I have about eight prayer points today. And as you pray with me, the Lord will answer you in Jesus' name. Number one, the first prayer point, you say, Father, let me not fight the wrong battle. It's very important. Let me not fight the wrong battle, oh Lord. If you fight the wrong battle, failure is assured from the beginning. Let me not fight the wrong battle, oh Lord. And the second prayer point is similar to the first. You say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let me not fight the battle that you do not approve of. Let me not fight the battle that you do not approve of. When you look at the life history of, of, of Paul, many a times, Paul, the enemies of Paul will surround him. They want to capture him. Rather than fight, they will find a way to get Paul out from the midst of the enemies. There were times the enemies of Jesus thought they, they had had him, but because his time was not come, said, no, this is not the time to fight in the midst of his enemies. Jesus walked out. Let me not fight the right battle. I mean, let me not fight the wrong battle, O oh Lord. Let me not fight the battle you do not approve. Prayer point number three. We say, Father, whatsoever I have lost before now, I recover this season in the name of Jesus. Everything I have lost before now, Lord, I recover this season in the name of Jesus. Number four. He say, Father, send me destiny helpers on my way to victory in the name of jesus send me destiny help us oh lord on my way to victory in jesus name number five he said father send help unto me from all sources to ensure total victory in the name of jesus from east from west from north from south from heaven above father send help unto me help from all sources to ensure total victory in the name of jesus Number six, we say, Father, the grace to pursue and not falter until victory at last. Father, give unto me the grace to pursue and not falter until victory at last. Give unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. And number seven, we say, Father, destroy every defense of the enemy and let my victory be permanent in Jesus' name. Every defense of my enemies every defense of those who have made up their minds to be my enemies on this journey in life on this journey to destiny father destroy their defense and let my victory be permanent in the name of jesus finally you are going to declare 
Say, Father, terminate every premature celebration of the enemy concerning my life and let me laugh last in Jesus' name. Terminate, O oh Lord, every premature celebration of the enemy concerning my life and let me laugh last in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you for going on this journey with me on today's moment of solution. It's my prayers that God, not only will God answer your prayers, your victory will be permanent. Your glory will rise. And we will celebrate you in Jesus' name. God bless you and see you next week on the moment of solution. Thank you for watching the Moment of Solution. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like. God bless you.